Good morning, fellow RVers. Howdy, YouTube. Dude RV. Man, look at this glorious day. Sun is shining. Temperature's perfect. Hard to believe it's June 11. Heat index is actually supposed to be lower than the ambient temperature because the air is dry. How cool is that? We are going to have another first for the Dude RV channel. We are headed to the north border, going to cross the Red River into Oklahoma and pay a visit to Hugo Lake, a Corps of Engineer property, Kayamichi Park, located on the banks of Hugo Lake. Let's get on the road and head north. Here we are, Kaimichi Park, Hugo Lake. So far, it's an interesting park. Let's uh, let's start with a site review real quick. Site N02. There's actually three camp loops in this park. It's it's a very large Corps of Engineer property. N2. So when we're when we're choosing our sites on recreation.gov, man, it's hard to tell anything. So I had, had several options. There's a couple that, are, that were open. This one I believe was open, and it looks like it may still be open. But I really wanted to get some shade because I figured it was going to be miserably warm, and I wanted Yappy to be happy. You know, Yappy, you got to keep Yappy happy. I picked this site and I thought, man, that's a, that's a, looking at the picture, it's a very level site with shade on the, the west side. So afternoon we've got shade covering it up. It's a water and electric only, 30 amp. What confuses, is confusing me. I pulled in here and it looks like it's running downhill. So I put a couple blocks under the back end just to make sure that uh, I was as close to level when I put down the leveling jacks. And what has surprised me is the, the wheels or the front wheels have come up off the ground. So apparently it's not as, it, it, it must be as pretty dang close to level because when I put that under there now it's lifting the front anyway asphalt pad fortunately water's right here beside us power we are right next to a group pavilion but that's closed thanks to COVID-19 so I don't have to worry about a, a group of rowdy neighbors oh I gotta clean the lens lens is dusty Mo better and looking at you know the map and the pictures, I thought, well, lake access has got to be right there because there's a little draw. 
what I've learned is that's probably not any lake access down there or much any much of anywhere in this park. So we have a metal table on a concrete pad, a, a kind of a lantern hook thing, a fish cleaning table, I guess. A kind of cool barbecue pit, but it's rotted out in the bottom. Fire ring that you could move around if you want to. I'm very disappointed in the cleanliness of this park because you see, there's just, I'm going to have to pick up the trash before I can camp. Trash, trash, trash. But I do have some beautiful trees. This is a deer camp. There's a sign coming in, so this is a, like a pristine deer something. So you string them, hang them up, and clean them. Cook them. There's a big air conditioner right there. I guess I'm gonna get in the truck. We're gonna go do some exploring and kind of plan out for the FPV scooter tour tomorrow. So stay tuned, more to come. All right, for my boat ramp fans. There's one of the boat ramps. Kaimichi Park, Hugo Lake. It's the Kaimichi River dammed. Miss V, you can see her bumper shining right there on the other side of that little channel, cove. I'm not sure if this is a fishing dock or a courtesy dock. Maybe it's both. Looks more like a fishing dock because of all the rails. If that's the case, I'll be fishing tomorrow. I gotta shoot video for my 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 fans and followers first. Hugo Lake, Kaimichi Park. Here again, I find myself really craving a watercraft. Let's go see some more stuff. I have traveled over to the O Loop here at Kaimichi Park, and you can see I've got a nice, beautiful lake view. These are water and electric sites, but what's interesting is none of the none of the sites on this side of the of this loop have any asphalt pads. It's all gravel pads. They're pretty though. I think this would be perfect for Leon right here with the view over the the valley. Oh nine, mockingbird singing. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're in the equestrian set and you're coming out to Kaimichi Park, or if you're looking for a place to take your horse camping, Kaimichi Park has got a really great horse equestrian camping loop. Water and power at most of the sites. Now there's not any pads, but I mean, you're, you're horse camping. And I see that there's, there's several big horse trailer rigs in here and it seems to be a very popular place for the equestrian set. I don't see any horses though. Maybe the horses have gone swimming. There's actually lake access right over there. Let's go see some more stuff. Hugo Lake, Kaimichi Park, Corps of Engineer property. Hey, it, if it's a hot summer day, you might just want to go take a dip. They have an actual swim beach. Pretty nice. There's a marina. That's actually the state park property. Nice looking beach though. It's actually sandy. If your kids get tired of swimming, 
they can go over and play on the play structure while you sit in the shade and watch the martins fly in and out of their house. The scissor tail, big scissor tail. They eat a lot of bugs, we like them. Let's go see some more stuff. If you got a big group of folks that want to get together and have a good time, Kaimichi Park offers up a couple of nice group shelters. That's power, so you can bring in some fans and there's water, great big cooker, and plenty of lawn space to play some games. I don't see a whole lot in the way, because according to the signs, you're not supposed to park on the grass. So that, that presents us with a, a quandary. So if you're not supposed to park on the grass, and most of the campsites out here are grass, where do you park your motor home or your RV? <laughs> Things to ponder. Have about almost all of the vaults and shower facilities showers are new. At least they look new. Here at Kaimichi Park on Hugo Lake in Oklahoma, there there are three places to camp really. There's actually three different loops. We're right now we're on the J loop and the J loop has the most developed sites, as you can see. Lots of goose poop. But the, the J-Loop, these are almost all, all ADA compliant campsites. They have the raised burner, all concrete, easy to navigate with a, a wheelchair. And they are probably the, mo uh, the most level of all the campsites. The downside is you're just you're on this berm so you just kind of every every campsite has got the rock berm around it now there is relatively i'm not going to say easy there's better water access here than where i am set up and frankly anywhere else in the park but you still have to walk around a big pile of rocks there's several, quite a few Canadian geese down there. Now we know the source. Now we know the source of the goose poop. This loop sticks out on a, I think they all stick out on a peninsula, but this one, it's more noticeable, more pronounced. I said, that one's not too ADA friendly. But still, you got a, you got a nice concrete patio and a nice big concrete pad and a grassy kind of, kind of a grassy beach. The park, the volunteer staff could, could do a little better job picking up the trash. All right, let's go see some more stuff.
morning. In case you're wondering what the noise is. He's, he's going fishing. Lake is really pretty this morning. I don't have much to say <laughs> other than the lake is pretty this morning. I have two minnows in the water and some catfish bait. I've only been down here about 10 minutes. Beautiful place to drink some coffee this morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, June 14, and it is time to depart Hugo Lake and the Kaimichi Campground. To give you a recap of Kaimichi Park here on Hugo Lake, I'm gonna say when I first rolled into the, to the campground, I was, uh, I was kinda disappointed it, for no real reason. I, I, I just had expectations that I, I weren't seeing uh, brought out with the lack of pads on most of the campsites. There's litter. It doesn't look like the park hosts are really attentive to cleaning up after other people who can't clean up after themselves. Uh, so when I first got to my site, I actually had to do a, a litter pickup. Access to the water was challenging. Uh, it's definitely not a, a handicap friendly park at all. You, there's a the courtesy dock slash fishing pier over by the boat ramp uh, is just is so steep that I, I don't think I could get little red up and down that sidewalk. So there's not really any place to access the water other than the swim area. And I guess you could get over there and do some bank fishing, but it looked rather shallow. Uh, the park has, has grown on me. Good morning, bird. I like it. I'll, maybe someday I'll come back. It's been very peaceful. There's not a lot of RVers. There's not a lot of boat traffic on the lake, which I thought uh, until last night, I, I didn't understand why that was. And then I found out the lake overall is not real deep. And there's a lot of trees in it. So it's not a skier type lake. Recreational boating is a fisherman's lake. So if you're a fisherman and you got a watercraft, great lake. Excellent lake. I uh, met some new friends who were camped next door. Now they had they were down here for 10 days trot line fishing on the river below the dam and they've had some success and they said they were gonna send me some pictures. So if they sent me some pictures, here's what they caught on the river. We had a good visit last night, just hanging out. There's, since there's no traffic, this is a dead end street. We were sitting right in the middle of the street. They gave me a lot of insight on other places to go that would be more conducive to accessing the water from the bank uh, if your mobility challenged. And they know because Gopher, Jason, uh, is paralyzed in a wheelchair, so he's he knows where to access the water where you can't access the water. Uh, and his, his partner, his best friend, Booger, <laughs> great guy. They're just both, just both great guys. But they were very insightful and gave me a lot of great information on where to go in the southeast corner of Oklahoma. With what I've seen here, I, I'm, I'm gonna be coming back sooner rather than later. It's not that far a drive to get up here and the country is just beautiful and wildlife is, is stunning. There's very little, if any, road noise here. So, I, and when I say it's peaceful, it is, it is quiet, beautiful starscapes. Want to get out on the lake, you should come visit. They have cabins over at the state park. They, this great big huge COE campground, there's 50 amp if you need that, there's 30 amp. Uh, and there's more primitive with electricity and water. So you should come up to Hugo Lake, check out Kaimichi Park, 
bring some fishing gear with you and a boat. Of course, you can rent a boat down at the marina. Would I come back? Yes, I, I will come back to Kaimichi Park at some point, but I got a lot of other parks to visit first. All right, so with that being said, it is time to hook on the pickup and head south. I do appreciate all of you who have been following along. Thank you. I am so deeply honored. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell as well. I post new videos every Sunday morning. 10 a.m. So come along with me. You, you'll be glad you did. So the last thing I got to say is y'all come back now, you hear?